Get ready to rock loan origination, discount points, and lenders' effective yields like a math magician. Welcome to my channel where I bring you the best tips and tricks that'll help you learn the math behind the real estate world. Not only for your test, but so you can help your future clients navigate the exciting challenges that go into the entire process of buying or selling a home. My name is Maggie Reyoso, and I'm a licensed Florida real estate instructor and owner of Maggie's Real Estate Academy. Today, we're diving into the world of mortgage loan fees, those puzzling terms that can make or break a deal. Stick with me as we decode loan origination fees discount points, and effective yield. And you know what's the best part about all of this? We've got our BFF, the ever-reliable T-chart to help us tackle these problems. If you're not familiar with the T-chart method to solving these pesky math problems, I'll drop a link to a video where I describe it in full detail below in the comments section. But it's so easy, you'll catch on in no time by just sticking around and watching this video. So grab your pencil, your trusty calculator, and something to scribble on, because we're diving into practice questions similar to ones that you might just see on your exam. Let's get these problem-solving gears in motion. Let's start with a math challenge, shall we? Imagine you're assisting a client with a $200,000 mortgage and the lender asks for one point as a loan origination fee. What's the actual dollar amount of this fee? Feel free to pause the video and work this problem out. Boom! The loan origination fee clocks in at $2,000. Let's review. Remember, when it comes to discount points or loan origination fees, one point is 1% 1 of the borrowed amount or loan amount. Here's a little math secret. The word is in math means equals and the word of means to multiply. So if we're to translate this sentence into math language, it would read one point equals 1% 1 times the loan amount. Now that we're armed with that amazing knowledge, Let's take out the T-chart and solve this problem. Okay, so we can safely say the 1% goes in the percent column. Don't forget to convert the percent into a decimal by dividing by 100. So 1% equals 1 over 100, which then equals 0 0.01. And then the $200,000 loan amount will go in the total column. Now we see that all we have to do here is multiply. So $200,000 times 0 0.01 equals $2,000. But what are loan origination fees anyway? Well, they're the fees that cover the lender's administrative costs, meaning the fees it takes to process the loan. Okay, ready for more? Let's jump into discount points. You're guiding a buyer through a home purchase worth $300,000. The lender throws in the option for the buyer to purchase one discount point to lower their interest rate. What is the price for the buyer to buy down their interest rate? Crunch those numbers and I'll spill the beans shortly. There you have it. The buyer needs to shell out $3,000 for discount points. Let's review discount points. Remember, one discount point equals 1% of the loan amount, which is paid up front at closing to secure a lower interest rate for the borrower. These concepts are always applied to only the loan amount. Some questions will give you the sales price and down payment amount or down payment percentage, so you will have to find the loan amount before you can apply the discount rate or loan origination fee total. Now let's tackle the concept of effective yield. A buyer purchases a property for $250,000 using a mortgage loan with an annual interest rate of 4%. The buyer pays one discount point up front. 
what's the effective yield on the loan? Take your time to work out this problem and I'll serve up the solution. The effective yield on the loan is 4.125%. This figure takes into account the payment of discount points, any applied discounts, and the duration of the loan. Keep in mind, each point charged upfront usually bumps the interest rate by around 1/8%. An easier way to understand this concept is by understanding that when you see the keyword yield, it may pop up on your exam as lender's yield, effective yield, or lender's effective yield. But nonetheless, the keyword is yield. So when you see that they're asking for the yield, all you have to do is take the total number of points, put it over eight, then add it to the interest rate. Like I said earlier, one point will bump up interest by one eighth percent. So if you're given three points, it will be three eighths plus the interest. Here's a good breakdown of all three mortgage loan fees so you can see the similarities and the differences. I hope you wrote that down because I'm going to quiz you here in a little bit. Ready for a few more questions to test your knowledge? Here's your seven question quick quiz. Let's go. Question number one. You're helping a client secure a $350,000 mortgage. The lender charges 0.75 in points as a loan origination fee. How much will this fee amount to in dollars? Since we know that one point equals 1%, we can easily say that 0.75 points is going to equal 0.75%. Now we take out the T-chart and we see that we can easily put that 0.75% in our rate column. Don't forget to convert that into a decimal by dividing by 100. So that's going to equal 0.0075. And we have a mortgage amount of $350,000. So that's going to go in my total column. And now we see that all we have to do is multiply. So $350,000 times 0.0075 is going to equal $2,625. So the answer to this one is D. Question two. A buyer is looking at a property with a $400,000 loan amount. The lender offers the option to pay two discount points to lower the interest rate. What is the total cost of these discount points? Since we see that we have two discount points here, I know that two points is going to equal 2%. Now that we have the T-chart out, we know that we could put the 2% in our rate column. Convert it into a decimal by dividing by 100, so that equals 0.02. Now we see it has a $400,000 loan amount, so that goes in my total column. So now we just multiply. So $400,000 times 0.02 is going to equal $8,000. So the answer to this one is C. Number three, a buyer takes out a $300,000 mortgage with a 5% interest rate and pays two discount points up front. Calculate the effective yield on the loan. For these types of problems, we don't need the T-chart. We know that already the key word is yield. So the first step in any yield problem is to find the discount points that were applied. So we take two points and we divide it by eight. Remember, one point is going to equal one eighth percent plus the interest amount. So we can safely say, since it has two points, we can change it to two over eight. 
that equals one over four, which when we divide that, we get 0.25%. So now we have a interest rate of 5%. So we just say 5% plus 0.25% is going to give us a lender's yield of 5.25%. So the answer to this one is A. Okay, don't get too comfortable. Now we're gonna kick it up a notch with some harder questions. Get ready, you got this. Number four, you're helping a client secure a mortgage and they purchase discount points in the amount of $2,500. If the purchase price of the home is $250,000 and has a loan to value of 80%, what percentage in discount points is paid? See here, we have the purchase price of the home and we see that it has a loan to value of 80%. So we have to find out how much the loan amount is. So let's bring in our T-chart and we can see that it has a loan to value ratio of 80%. So I'm gonna put that in my rate column. Convert it into a decimal by dividing by 100 so that equals 0 0.8. And now I see the purchase price is $250,000. So that is gonna go in this column. So now when I multiply $250,000 times 0 0.8, that is gonna give me a total loan amount of $200,000. Now that we have our loan amount, we can find out the percentage of discount points that were paid. I know that since that is now the new total amount, I can put 200,000 in my total amount and my discount point payment of $2,500 in the part amount. Now I see I just have to divide. So $2,500 divided by $200,000 equals 0 0.0125. Now, remember, we have to convert that into a percent. So in order to convert that decimal into a percent, we're going to multiply by 100. So that is gonna equal 1.25%. So my answer is A. Number five. A buyer pays $1,800 as a loan origination fee that totaled 1.5 points. What's the loan amount for this mortgage? All right, let's bring in the T-chart and we see that the buyer paid a total of $1,800 in loan origination fees. So we're going to put that as our part and we see that it has a total of 1.5 points. So 1.5 points equals 1.5%. So that now goes in my rate column. Convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100. So that's gonna equal 0 0.015. Now we're going to divide and find the total loan amount. So 1800 divided by 0 0.015 equals $120,000. So the answer to this one is B. Number six, buyer A secures a $400,000 mortgage at 4.5% interest and pays one discount point. What is the effective yield on the loan? All right, we have our keyword yield here. So the first step, is to find how much discount points were paid. So we're gonna take the discount point and we're going to put it over eight. Then we divide that using our calculators and we're going to get 0 0.125 and that is a percent. Now we get our total interest paid of four and a half percent and we say 4.5% plus 0.125%. And that equals 
percent. So the answer to this one is D. Let's try one more lender's yield type question just to make sure you got this. This one's going to be a little tougher, but nothing we can't tackle. Here we go. Number seven, a buyer purchases a home for $450,000 with an 80% LTV ratio. She obtains a mortgage with a 4.75% interest rate and pays 1.5 discount points. Calculate the effective yield. All right, so our yield is here. Go straight to your discount points, and we see we have 1.5. So I just say 1.5 and divided by 8. When I put that in my calculator, I get a total of 0 0.1875. And now all I have to do is find my total interest here as 4.75% and add it to 0.1875%. So that is equal to 4.9375%. So the answer to this one is B. See, that wasn't so bad. Now you can confidently walk into your exam and crush those questions should they come your way. Keep up the great work. Now I want to give you this one important bit of advice. Remember, tackling real estate math is a crucial step towards success. Whether you're acing exams, closing deals, or just making smarter financial decisions, these skills will serve you well. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep rocking the real estate world. If you find yourself still struggling to understand the basic math concepts on the real estate exam, stay tuned for more awesome information after this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, your feedback is important, so if you enjoyed this video, tap that like button and show us some love. Feel free to share this video with your fellow real estate aficionados. And drop a comment below if you have any questions or topics that you'd like me to cover in future videos. Don't hesitate to reach out. Your thoughts and questions fuel the fire for creating more valuable content that supports your journey. This is Maggie Hidalgo signing off until our next real estate math adventure. Keep shining, keep growing, and keep conquering those math challenges. Cheers to your bright future in real estate. Thanks for watching. If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I want to share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips. This workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math wits in the world of real estate.